Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Production Den. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Contact in FL Studio. We're going to load up a couple different instruments in one instance of Contact, and then I'll show you how to route that out to multiple mixer tracks, but also have individual MIDI channels that control each one of the instruments in that single instance of Contact. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so let's go ahead and load up an instance of Contact. I'm gonna go into the plugin database, go under generators or install generators, VST, and you should be able to find contact there. Load that up. So now what we need to do is load in a couple different instruments. I'm gonna show you how to route that outside of just the contact instrument so you can play each of those instruments individually and also mess with those things in the mixer individually. So let's go ahead and get a couple things loaded up. Uh, so let's start with, let's say some strings. Let's load in a cello. Let's load in an instance of hybrid keys. Let's load in a drum kit, this kind of a drum kit. And then let's load in one more drum kit show you something on this. All right, so when we open this up for the cellos, you'll see that the output is selected as SD1 and the MIDI channel is one. And that's what we want for the first channel. Um, but when we go to the second channel, you'll see that there's nothing for the outputs here. So you have to click on this information tab and then I'll load up where the outputs are. So it automatically loaded into channel two, but it's still on ST1 and we want to set it up for a different output. So in order to do that, we need to set up some more outputs in contact. So let's go down here to this menu, select outputs. And you'll see that there's ST1 down here. We're going to load up a couple more. And since we have three more instruments, we're going to add three more instances with two channels each. So they're stereo pairs and we're gonna have it start after the first stereo pair. So we'll click this one, and it'll say ascending output assignments. We'll say okay. And when you do that, you'll notice down here, it says one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight. So now for this second channel, we're gonna load the output to be ST2, which is um, stereo two. And for the next one, we're going to come down here and load that to be stereo three. And then for this next one, we're going to load that to be stereo four. So now we need to set up contact so that its outputs are routed out to outputs and inputs are routed out to FL studio. So for the MIDI input port, you go under this tab right here. So contacts right here, you go into the plugin settings, you get a mini input port, select zero there. And then we're going to go to processing. And we're going to say for this first channel, do a one, two, three, and four. And what that means is whatever track that we select here, which is the mixer track for contact, it means that the first stereo channel is going to be one away from that. The second one is two away from that. The third one's three and so on. So let's go ahead and open up the mixer. We're going to load contact into channel five. And then I'll be that. And then let's go back here. And one of the things I wanted to show you was on this one, the group four, You'll notice that it says four plus groups, and this is a weird quirk on some instruments. Um, and what will happen is it will play the instrument along with other instruments, and that's not what we want. So we'll have to go down, let's take the output window off. We're gonna click on the wrench icon, and if you go to group editor, say edit all groups, and where it says Omni down here, you want to just select default. And what that means is it's only going to play with just the instrument. It's not going to overlap with any other instrument. And what you'll see up here is that that changed away from four plus groups. 
and it's just four. And that's exactly what we want to have happen. So then we're going to go back out to the channel rack. I'm going to add in a MIDI output. So this is going to be channel one. We're going to clone this and we're going to make that channel two. Do the same thing. We're going to clone it, make it channel three. Clone this again, make that channel four. So now when we come to here, where instruments are loaded up is cellos is on channel one, hybrid keys is on channel two, hybrid kids on channel three, and the central stage is on channel four. So when we bring back up this, channel one should be the cellos. Channel two should be the hybrid keys. And then channel four is going to be the kit. It's a little quiet, but you can hear it. And then channel four is the central stage kit. Okay, so if you open up the mixer rack, you'll see that channel four again, let's open up both of these. So channel four, contact is loaded into channel five. So four away from should be that drum kit. Three away from that should be the other drum kit. And then we have the hybrid keys. And then we have the strings. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to change the names of these to be what they actually are. So this one is going to be the strings and you can color code it if you wanted to. Um, this one is the hybrid keys. So I'm going to rename that to hybrid keys. That. And this one is the ivory kit. Let's just keep it as a gray. And then this one is the central stage. Keep that. So those are all named. And we could do the same thing down here. We could start with this first channel name this strings use that same color this one change rename that one to hybrid keys rename and recolor and this one hybrid kit and this one central stage So now everything is specifically routed to its own channel. All the outputs are coming the way that they need to be, and you can play each individual instrument and record each individual instrument. So there's the strings, and we could add effects specifically to the strings, uh, put in EQs or compressors or whatever else you might want to add in for that, and do the same thing on each one of these uh, outputs. Well guys, I hope that was helpful for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you on the next round.